All right, let's take a look at the beach cart. We got our instructions. We got part of the frame. It's like a crossbar and a couple of T's. We got the other piece of the frame. We got a couple of wheels. Interesting. We got a pump. We got our bag. And we got some hardware. So let's take a look at the wheels first. They got this little jig, which is supposed to fit over the wheel, and that's gonna tell us how wide you can make the wheel. So it's not really a PSI. This is telling us the maximum outer diameter. So we got another warning sticker here. Make sure that we're looking at 330 millimeters. And it says that the pressure is gonna be three PSI. So this is a very low pressure tire. Of course it needs to be, because if it's gonna be on a beach, it's gonna be on sand, it's not gonna have a whole lot of pressure on it. On the bottom it's got this little stand so this isn't going to hold the thing up but this is going to be something you'd step on so that you can pump it up that's cool it actually has different nozzles on here so if you want to fill up beach equipment or basketballs or whatever you can do that So we got a little ways to go. So right about there. So you can still see that there is some rigidity. There's still some like uh, the folds are in the tire, but as you roll this thing around, it's gonna work those out. Cool. Yep, nice and soft. This did not survive. Maybe a couple more. And I'm gonna call it right there. So all I did was I inflated until all the, uh, the squares popped out, gave it a couple more pumps, and that is good. It's gotta be squishy because to go over sand, it just has to be squishy. So the first thing we're gonna do is run those T's onto that axle. You can see that hole right there. So that's gonna line up with this hole, just like that. And same thing on this side. Now these bolts are already pre-installed, so that's gonna make this easier. All we're gonna do is take off these nylon lock nuts. So make sure you got the nut and the washer. And I like that they got everything right where it goes. Most of the time these things just come with a bag full of hardware, but you can see this is a nylon lock nut, so that is going to hold itself in place. So we're gonna feed these bolts through those holes. There we go. And do that on both sides. Then we do one washer and one nut. We're gonna tighten that up. And this is a 10 millimeter. You don't have to make this super tight. Matter of fact, you don't want it to be super tight. Again, that nylon is gonna hold that nut where it has to be. Okay, I just started feeling a pinch and then I stop. Right there. This is the foot. So I'm gonna flip this over so that it is on the ground. And then this is gonna go on top. And we want this so that when we pull it, it is going to pull that way. And then if we push it forward, it will collapse. So the way we do that, we just make sure that the triangle is facing that way. So we've got a Phillips right here and we got another 10 millimeter on the other side. And the same thing over here. So I'm going to line that up with this hole. Drop that down. It's a little stiff. That's all right. Way better to be stiff. And again, we don't want to make this too tight. We don't want to crush this pipe. And that is an nylon lock nut, so we just get it kind of on there, and then we stop. So right there is good. And we'll do the same thing on this side. Okay, so now, there we go. And if that doesn't pull up easily, just loosen up those nuts a little bit, and then it should. So in this bag, we got two straps. We got a wrench, so we could have just used that. We have an extra bolt. I like that they put that in, so in case we lost one, we're still good. And then we have two of these wheel clips. So the idea with these is we're just going to push that through the hole, and then when we pull this ring down, it'll lock it in place. So to attach these wheels, we just want to make sure we got the valve stem facing out in case we got to inflate it. And we push it into the axle, just like that. And then this clip goes through the hole. And then when this ring clips down, that's going to hold it in place. And do the same thing over here. 
drop the pin in, clip it down. So that, that's not coming out. For the bag, I like that this is just a net. So you can put like swimsuits in here and you don't have to worry about it getting moldy or anything. All the water is just gonna run right through it. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna take these Velcro straps, hook side down first, put the soft side on top. That is good to go. Do the same thing on this side, lock that down. So that's gonna hold it up. Then we got these straps. And that clips on and do the same thing on the bottom. What's cool about that is you can collapse this and then this whole thing has a zipper to it. So you can lift the whole thing, get everything that you want out of it. Nice big pouch and then close it back up. That's good design. We got these two straps and these are nice and easy. I really like these just because of how simple they are. You don't have to know anything. They're not like ratchet straps where you got to do it just right. We're just going to unwind it. And depending on what you're carrying, you just find the bar that you want to use. Wrap it around it. Wrap that around the top. You can see we got that little clip at the top. So we're just going to run our strap through that from the bottom. Just like that. And that is going to hold plenty tight. So you'd use one, you could use two, you could use none, depending on what you're doing. But yeah, this thing gives you a ton of options. So there it is. That, as far as going on the beach and then, you know, not having to work hard, this is probably the best thing that you're going to find for it. That guy's awesome.